dear Americans, dear Patriots, this is your future. This is the future of red, white, and blue, Tent City. You're either going to be rich or you're going to be living in the woods. If you're not a millionaire, if you're not making at least six and a half figures, by the time you retire, that's where you're going to be living. Just think about this. You've worked your whole life. You've slaved away your whole life. Every time you save money, something breaks down. They raise your rent. They raise your taxes. They have taken away your right to own property. You don't have a right to own a house anymore, to own a land anymore. You don't have a right to own a farm anymore. You don't have a right. They're trying to take away your right to be self-employed. They don't want you to own your own business. They don't want you to own a house free and clear. They keep raising your property taxes every year. It's 3.8 property tax increase. More socialism. More socialism. We need to pay for this. We need to pay for that. Pay for drug rehabs. Pay for unauthorized mothers. Pay for someone else's children. You always have to pay for something that you have no rights to. More socialism. 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 And then you have these people that think that socialism is the solution to poverty. And every time they enact more socialism, your taxes go up. Your property taxes go up. If you rent the landlord, you're a slave to the landlord. They raise the landlord's property taxes, which in turn gets passed on to you. You can't get ahead. There's no break. There's no more middle class. It's either you're going to be rich or the working slave poor or homeless living in tent cities. But I'm telling you, Americans, the real Americans, this is your future. You're going to be homeless. You're going to be living in tent city. You might as well just prepare for it. I mean, if you're working, if you're paying rent, you're working for someone else. That's what you're doing. You're working for someone else. When you're working and you're renting, you're working for someone else. You're not working for yourself. When you own a house, when you own a farm, when you own land, you're working for yourself. Hey, living in the woods, living in tent cities is actually freedom if you think about it. Because when you live in a tent, there's no landlord. And the city doesn't make you pay taxes. They don't come after you for it. You don't have to pay. There's no taxes. There's, there's no school taxes. There's no property taxes. There's no, there's no this or that. And you saw how these people are living out there. They have motorcycles. They have electric bikes. They have power generators. They have computers. They have electricity. They have running water. So why would they want to pay rent? Why would they want to pay all those taxes? Why would they want to pay all that socialism? Why would these people who are living in the woods want to go back to paying rent? Why? And you're paying, you know, for someone else's agendas. Someone's non-essential agenda. Someone's non-essential care. I mean, we can do without drugs. We can do without gender-altering hormones. We can do without that. Those are not essential. We don't need those to live. The human race does not have to have an abortion in order to survive. It's unbelievable. So I don't blame these people for living in the woods. I don't blame them at all. I'm thinking about pitching a tent and moving into the woods.